this is just an update about the Journal of Therapeutic Ultrasound. And um, this is just to make sure that you all know what we're trying to do. We aim for this journal to be the premier open access journal on th focused on therapeutic ultrasound. And the journal intends to be produce cutting edge translational clinical research and is the official journal of the Focused Ultrasound Foundation and the International Society of Therapeutic Ultrasound, ISTU. Um, now, before we, anyone asks, the big question that you all want to know about is, what's the impact factor and do we have an impact factor at the moment? And that's you know, the big question here. Well, currently we have not yet achieved an impact factor. To do this, you need to publish around two papers a month for approximately 12 months. And last year, we published 23 papers, not 24, which was a bit of a problem. Um, had we known at the time that this was the requirement, we might, might have written some of our own stuff and imaginatively, but we didn't. Um, so we're hoping to overcome that obstacle. The trouble is that not only do you have to do 23, 24 papers a year, but you have to produce them at a rate of two a month. And we've been trying to control that output of two every month. But in June, there was a minor disaster, and we didn't publish any papers. So we're, on, we're back to square one. And over the next nine to 11, 12 months, we need to publish two a month. We have quite a few in um, review at the moment. What about timings? Well, between acceptance and publication, we can get it out in approximately two weeks. However, the uh, deal is how long does it take to get to acceptance? And um, we have had problems, and our time to acceptance has grown unacceptably over the last year. We have had real problems trying to get appropriate referees to review papers in a timely fashion, and that's been the main factor in that situation. Now, we have, I hope, taken appropriate steps to overcome this hurdle, because we want to be able to respond to your papers in as timely and as rapid a manner as we conceivably can, because that helps everybody, and it reduces everybody's frustrations and makes you keener to um, come to the journal and makes us happier to publish these papers. So the editors and the editorial board have pledged to try and reduce this delay drastically over the next 12 months. I can't say how much we're going to reduce it to, but the intention is to um, take it down by a factor of 5 to 10. So let's just re describe the goals of what we're trying to do. So we strive to be the main journal in the field of focused ultrasound, but we need you to send us your papers. We have to publish more to achieve an impact factor and break out of that vicious circle, and we must then slowly elevate the impact factor so your work can be appropriately displayed. So we, uh, displayed. So we need you to send us your papers. Without your work and submissions, the journal will not develop. And I think it is important that we have a dedicated journal for the people who come to these meetings to allow us to display your work. We also intend to publish a stream of time, what we describe as timely review articles on topical subjects to cover the whole field of focused ultrasound. And again, we need your help in that. Many of the presenters at this meeting um, should have had an open invitation to submit their papers to the JTU. I think it has been clear to everybody at this meeting that the standard of the work, the scientific standard, has been remarkable and much higher than in any of previous meetings. Many of these papers, even most of these papers, could be suitably showcased within the journal as good quality um, scientific papers. So we hope that you take up that invitation as many of you as possible, and we also hope to issue personal invitations to what we consider the best papers in each section, and we hope these um, people will be able to also take up these invitations to send either the full paper or reviews of their work, which we'll be able to publish. Now, if you have any ideas about subjects you'd like us to address, areas you'd like us to carry out review articles, or other aspects that you would like us to consider and perhaps develop, please get in touch. That's my email at the bottom. 
we can't, we are limited in our, the amount of ideas we have and we need you to help us. Thank you very much. Do we take this forward to the European Society, which I can do as a general secretary to adopt the journal as a journal for the European Society? And the question is, would the editor then, what we did in other journals, provide a fast track for these members? You see, in we, we, brackets. We, we'd like to provide a fast track for everybody, Andreas, yeah. and we're working hard to do that. This is always a good marketing argument. Yeah, um, the, 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 the Korean Therapeutic Society also wants us to become their official journal. So, again, it just um, goes back to the point that we want this to be the journal for the people in this field who attend these meetings and who have a resource that they can return to again and again to find the most timely, appropriate, scientifically correct information plus timely reviews and descriptions of this field. That's our goal. My other suggestion is that we or you con may consider special topic uh, editions, let's say one on state of the art of liver or these new things or brain. Sure. Because sure, um, this boosts the impact factor usually also in other journals. And it makes us become an impact factor then likely. Yeah, I, th I think these are things we would very much like to do, but we want to get the impact factor first. Okay.